There it is, the cosmic microwave background, a record of the earliest moments of the Big Bang. Then it takes a little time to make your first stars. We call it the Dark Ages. Stars are made, galaxies are made, galaxies mature. We come up to the present day, 13.7 billion years later, and that telescope we can't see the whole name, it's called WMAP, Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe. They clearly didn't want anyone to pronounce that or remember it. I would just call it the Big Bang Machine. Uh, that made this measurement. And so it's a pretty coherent picture that we have of the origin of the universe. And here's that map that the, the uh, space probe shown. And so this is a record of the earliest moments of the universe and it tells us what the universe was up to. And data, agree we're all pretty happy with this, and we're kind of moving on. Uh, the Big Bang, by the way, could fit into a larger story. For example, the multiverse. Big Bang is probably not the whole story. It's probably a piece of a bigger story. So maybe there are multiple Big Bangs. This would give us the multiverse. We don't have data for this, but we have good theoretical and philosophical reasons to think that a multiverse exists. When going to a different planet, what aspect of traveling will be most important? Great question, and there's a lot of thinking about this. They worry about food. Not only is there enough food, but will you like the food? If you get bored with the food, will that affect your morale? And then you're less effective doing other tasks. Do you need comfort food? Do you want exotic food, international food? The water supply, is there enough water? Do you recycle the water? If you recycle the water, that means it collects all of your urine, filters it, and then you drink it back.